Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jin and today's uh, lesson will be uh, about the middle fulcrum, okay, and how to use it. Um, the body frame, okay, when we're talking about the body frame, what I'm really talking about is really there, okay? So you see the shoulder line all the way down to the knee line, okay? And the middle fulcrum then for the body frame would be the hip line, okay? So that would be the middle, all right? So that's gonna be the lesson today, so let's get started. I was like this, right? And I engaged the middle, push the hip in, and rebuild my friend. It's, it's, it's all, like, all the way through. Yeah, yeah, so you go like this, all right? All right? Now, can I make a connection? All right, so right now you see what I did was I uh, adjusted uh, Tuan's uh, body, right? So he's got a nice uh, a pillar right here all the way down from his shoulder to his hip, uh, to his knee, to his heel, okay? So he's doing a good job there. And his weight distribution is over to his right leg, and he's created torque by uh, rotating um, his hips uh, in a counterclockwise way. That He's basically rotating the pole, uh, the line that you see in a counterclockwise way, okay? Um, if you haven't seen yesterday's video on creating torque, then uh, I suggest that you go back and watch that. All my videos you can find on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's one word, China Boxer. And uh, go ahead and subscribe, that way you're kept up to date of uh, any future uh, videos that I post. Back, bend your knees, right, and bring your shoulders forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing like a one-legged squat. Now, push the middle in, the middle. Okay? Let that separate your knees and your, and your shoulders. Separate. So everything is done for the middle. Then you come back down, mid butt back, and bring your shoulders and knees together by bringing your butt back. Okay, so what you see here is um, by using my uh, my middle fulcrum and I'm retreating that, that brings my shoulders down and my knees, uh, and it connects it to my knees, right? My, uh, so my shoulders will want to come down towards my knees, right? And uh, you also notice that my shoulder, my knee, and my heel, okay, on uh, is still in a very very straight line okay so i'm not leaning forward or sitting back right so i'm i'm right now i'm very balanced right. so if i touch you here not don't push just maintain if i push you here you still got free see you can feel the foot you feel it okay but now go back up now do the same thing but bring your shoulder down. Don't use the middle fulcrum. Just bring your shoulders down. But make them look the same. Go ahead. Bring your shoulders down. Now I'm going to do the same thing. You do not do the middle leg. Yes, sir. You, you don't know. You go, wait, this doesn't feel the same anymore. But now do it again. And now go stand up. Free, got free. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I have to reset basically start uh start him over again to get him gap free okay so don't make the mistake of just trying to uh to adjust on the fly okay what you have to do is you have to make sure you go back and actually do the steps in order to become gap free okay which is what i'm about to do uh, right here for him Here, here. If I push here, keep your elbow frame. Elbow. You, you, feel the, you feel the foot. Here, you feel the, you feel the foot. Okay, so right now, any push that I give to uh, Tuan, okay, into his body, 
the feedback will start to go down his spine, right? And through all his, his joints and will reach the ground, okay? Because energy always wants to ground, okay? And as long as there are no gaps, then it will find the floor, right? So right now, uh, he's in a really, really good position. So uh, we're gonna keep going. Anywhere I touch you now goes to your rear foot. You feel it? Now go back. Now come down with your shoulders. But keep everything down for you. Everything looks the same, okay? But when you do, okay? Okay, so I had, uh, I had Tuan intentionally do it wrong because a lot of times it's really, really good for the students uh, to know what it feels like to do s to, to when when there are gaps inside the body. Okay, so now when I uh, give uh, give him some feedback, there is going to be all these uh, gaps in his joints. Okay, and that pressure now wherever I I put pressure into his body, it will not want to go down anymore. Okay. Uh, energy will always take the path of least resistance. So uh, if I push him and there's a gap in that shoulder, well, then it will keep attacking that shoulder and keep feeding backwards, right? And that's going to force uh, uh, him, uh, your, it's going to force uh, Tuan to somehow he's going to have to deal with that. And a lot of times what happens because of that gap, uh, people will push to counter that effect. But they're, what they're doing is actually they're now off balanced and uh, their movement is, is, is not any good anymore, okay? Because they can easily be off balanced uh, by your partner, okay? So uh, right here, I'm, uh, it's, it's good for you to, to feel what it feels like when you do a move, but you, are, you have gaps inside your joint system, okay? So um, you will not feel your foot. Okay, so let's see what uh, happens to Tuan here. Now, anywhere I touch you, right, okay, it will feel completely different now inside your body. So it, the force doesn't want to go down anymore. It wants to go through you. Okay. So now you have this movement now, right? We've developed a skill. It's not a technique, it's a skill, okay? But now, we're gonna apply it to the ground. So lay down. Now, I'm in half guard. So this is very common, right? And you're balled up like this, okay? You have, I, 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 your knee is, and I start hugging you, this is really bad for you, right? Okay, so in the gi, they would grab your, your, your lapels, right? And it's hard to like get away, right? But now, from here, uh, close the loop here. Close your uh, close the loop on top of your own ankle. Yes, and relax. Okay. And now from here, okay. Right. First, I want you to try to bring your shoulders, bring your shoulders away. Go ahead. Bring your shoulders away. See how hard that is, right? And you're gonna have to really push me, right? You're gonna have to use a lot of force. Now go back. Now. You're gonna do exactly what you did. You're gonna bring the middle in, the middle hip in, and that's going to separate your shoulders and your knees by using the middle fulcrum. Okay? So I'm here like this. Go ahead, use the middle fulcrum. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <coughs> you see how you see how strong now? You're completely like this. You feel that line. So now, pressure, no matter where I put pressure, it will always go. In this case, your rear foot is your shoulder, <laughs> okay? Yes, because yes. of the orientation of your body. Yes, yes. You understand? That's your rear foot. So any pressure now I give you will go to your rear foot. That's it. That's it. So it's, that's why I say is, I know it looks weird because we're practicing standing, that's it. right? But you're trying to understand uh, how does that apply to the ground? The reason why I have you do it standing is because it's easier to learn it on your feet. Uh, the, the, the skills, all the skills, right? Then once you understand on your feet, you can apply it to the ground. All right, so um, that's kind of an, an important point there, right? And 
that's how come a lot of times people don't understand what I'm doing. They come to me, let's say they want to become a, uh, you know, they want to become more efficient on the ground. Uh, but I have them uh, start standing up, right? And, and it's really important that uh, they understand that it's, it's not I'm trying to make them learn stand up. You know, uh, I'm not trying to make them boxers, but what I'm trying to get them to do is understand body skill, all right? And I do it standing up because it's so much easier for the, for the students to learn, all right? Because when you're standing, all you're, do, you're basically do only focusing on one thing. Any pressure coming in, you want it to go straight down into your rear heel, Okay. So it never changes. It's always going to be your rear rear heel when you're standing, all right? Now, when you start to uh to apply that skill on the ground, you see how um uh, when you're when on the ground, there are many things that can that can end up connecting to the ground, which is not your feet. Sometimes it's your feet. Sometimes it's the balls of your feet. Sometimes it's going to be your your knees. That will be the connection point to the ground, right? Or your hips or your shoulders or your elbow or your hand or your head, right? So your connection, in other words, the, when you're on, a, on the ground and you're doing submission grappling, uh, because of the orientation of your body, right, there's a lot of different places now for force to try to reach the ground, which is not necessarily your rear heel, okay? So it gets much more complicated on the ground, right? Um, because what is the what is the lowest point that is connected to the ground? And, it, and oftentimes as a grappler, it's not going to be your feet, right? So uh, that's how come I have... Uh, my students start to learn the skill standing up. Um, so hopefully that clarifies things uh, for you. All right, keep practicing. And um, if you haven't seen my previous video to this, uh, Creating Torque, make sure you go back and uh, watch that video. All my videos can be found on my YouTube channel. It's one word, China Boxer. And go ahead and subscribe to that so that you, uh, you will know when I post new videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys soon.